I mean, the end goal is to make the pros, but as I said before, it's a process. It's like one thing at a time. You can have it at the back of your mind, but there's so many steps and achievements that you need to you know, go through. So, I mean, a year ago, my priority was to get recruited and get a scholarship. Now that I have a scholarship, you know, I want to start. And then once I start, I want to get good stats. So it's a whole process of goals. But at the back of my head, I've always wanted to make a professional. A cup of coffee to me just shows how everyone has different tastes and I can please a lot of people who have all different tastes. My, my parents started this business in 1961. They came from Israel. They were from born in Poland and they both migrated to Israel separately with their families before the war. My dad was in, then in the British Army, prisoner of war in Germany during World War II. And then they decided to come in 1956 to come to Australia. You know, he works hard, but it's something he loves. Like, he, he's passionate about it. He's, he's not just working to do it. He actually loves it. He, he's passionate about the coffee industry and you know, being able to provide for a family is also important for him. But when I help my dad at work, and I see all that he you know, has created and pretty inspirational. And I'd like to mimic that in how I go ahead with my sporting career. And because I'm passionate about it, I want to be able to put everything I do down towards it. My daughter Isabella, she was doing some netball tryouts at a Sunday afternoon and we were at the park and we went for a walk while she was doing the tryouts and there were these boys punting and we sat and watched and he really enjoyed it and he wanted to get involved. When we spoke to the coach at the time, I thought the coach said, you can be the best punter, but if you don't have any academic levels that would get you into college, you're not going to make it. So I thought, oh, well, this is an incentive. I used it as a, a way of getting him to study. I thought it was just something that he was going to have another attempt at, because he's attempted a lot of sports. Never thought it would come to this. But for some reason, Jesse always had a ball in his hand, whether it was a tennis ball, football, golf ball. Everything always was about playing a sport with a ball. Initially, I think for the first year and a half, two years of when I started punting, I sort of kept it to myself because I wanted to be the thing that I did and that none of my friends would, you know, try to do as well because I thought it could be pretty cool to do. I mean, I tried heaps of sports, like from volleyball to swimming to footy and basketball to everything, but I knew that this was something that I could take a long way. It takes a lot of time and focus. I don't think you can just punt twice a week and you know kick back on the weekend and during the days and expect to be able to get a scholarship because that's not what it is like in the US because kids are playing high school football and they're training every morning and afternoon. Like it's not easy for them, it's not easy for everyone. Because if it feels easy for everyone, everyone would be doing it. The percentage of people that go from high school to college, I think is like 2% went I mean, to a Division I school. And I think from like Division I to pros is another 2%. So, you know, the odds are against you, but if you put your pieces in the right places, you can achieve good things.
I can't say I ever do switch off because I'm always, you know, thinking about what's next, what can I do to get better, or, but when I do switch off, it's still through sport and it's just something that I love to do, being active. I, I go to the golf range and wind down, even if it's still, you know, hitting some long drives, it's still remedy to me and I enjoy it because, you know, you're still active, you're still testing yourself, but golf is a great outlet to me. And then again, seeing friends, but it's just different things that, again, all add up to who I am as a person. My family has provided me with every opportunity that I've wanted to be able to pursue through life, whether it's, you know, my school education. Obviously that was the first priority for them, making sure that I got a good education. And then, you know, sending me to local football clubs, basketball, you know, doing the right things, getting the right equipment. It's, I'm, I'm really grateful for what they've done for me. Whatever my goal was, whenever it was, they always been supporting me and been by my side. He's got a dream and he's always had the dream. But you have to also work for a dream. And I hope he, he works hard and, and gets the feeling of, of how things should be in America. I'm very proud, I'm very proud of Jesse. And uh, like I said, I think what amazes me is that he had that in his head, that he wanted to do it and that he did it. Thank you, I'm stretching things. And San Jose did a good job pressure. DJ Harvey back deep to receive the punt. Driving spiral punt, driving Harvey back. That will bounce inside the 20, bounce inside the 10, inside the 5. By Jeremy Justice. How about that effort? Ehrlich booms it. Jesse Ehrlich. That's a nice one. It bounces out near the 10. You never forget where you came from and you always owe it to the people that helped you from the beginning. From the early ages, I probably did think that I was going to be taking over the coffee shop um, and I still do, I still see myself being involved somehow but I do have my mind set on this.